If you are also looking for professional certified structural engineering services or courses, then don't forget to check link in description of this video. In this video, we'll learn how to add match line in Revit. Match lines are required if the plan length or the plan dimensions are very large compared to the sheet. So you usually have to split the, the plan or the specific drawing into two or multiple parts. So match line is used to give reference as well as identify where the parts are split. So this is a match line which we have drawn. But the important thing about match line is that you need to give the reference to the sheets. So you need to have the particular viewports. So you can view that how we have added the match line and we can move it in the plan. So we'll have to insert this one into the sheets also. You can duplicate the view first because we need two views as we are splitting in two parts. Can duplicate as dependent or independent depending upon your requirements. You can name it as part one and the other one as part two. The main one will remain the overall general arrangement plan, while the parts you can name it as by the part one or part two, or you can identify by the name of the grids. Let's say I have split into grid A till C, which is first part, and grid d2h which is second part so i have split the part and hide rest of the plan so that i can add it easily into the sheet and similarly for the other part i'll do the exact opposite So this is the overall plan. Now we need to add the reference but before adding reference we need to add it into the sheet and the reason I am just showing you right now. So this is the part plan from grid A to C and this is the reference which I am adding it here. So I'll go to a sheet if I delete the sheet the reference will also be removed because it's not added into any sheet right now so it's showing empty similar to the section views in Revit when you haven't added the section into the sheet it will show you dash or empty space but when you add into the sheet, it will show you the reference number of the sheet and the view number in the sheet. So this is the part where I have added that the other part is on this, this drawing in the sheet and similarly for reference here. I'm adding the reference for the rest of the other part for, for grid d till h d till h means in order to view the d till h plan you have to refer the sheet so i'll add it into the sheets so that the sheets number will be visible on these plans let's duplicate any sheet or create a new sheet I'll insert the view grid A till C. You can change the scale. I'll make it center. Now I need another new sheet.
grid A till C and similarly I'll add a new sheet for grid D till H you can name it anything you like depending upon your structure or architecture requirements so the sheet number is 208 and I'll drag the view scale here is already correct now you can see if in order to see from grid A to C you have to refer the sheet number 207 and in order to view grid D till S you have to view sheet 208